Well, apparently I've pissed a lot of people off, and a lot of people have misinterpreted my meaning. I am not Mr. Pro-Censorship. I am not saying it's a good thing that Black Pigeon Speaks channel got temporarily terminated. I'm not saying that. I'm simply stating that they're enforcing their policies. Those are their policies. Okay? What bugs me about a lot of this is many people want to label this as, oh, it's a conspiracy against the right wing. No, it's not a conspiracy against the right wing. Sure, there are some people with some really fucked up opinions that happen to be on the right are getting targeted quite a bit. But there are people on the left who have been affected as well. And the one thing that really, really bothers me about this is people are saying, oh, it's getting so much worse. Everything's so much worse than it's ever been. No, it isn't worse than it's ever been. Pre-2013 was worse than it's ever been. Or maybe you've forgotten about that. Maybe you've forgotten about all of the, the white nationalist channels that got deleted. Maybe you forgot about the, uh, oh, what is it? The, the, the white genocide, the uh, Bob Whitaker's mantra that would get posted everywhere. Uh, uh, anti, Anti-racist is a code word for anti-white, right? Remember that? Remember that being posted everywhere? being spammed everywhere, and then YouTube cracked down on it? Do you remember uh, people on the left that were making fun of Christianity who their, ch their channels would get deleted for being too harsh in their critiques of Christianity? Do you remember that? Or did you forget about that? Where were you when that was happening? Where were you when, when Dick Coughlin had tons... I, I've lost track of how many channels he's had. Where were you when Dick Coughlin was being censored? Not a word. Not a word. It's only a concern for you if it's someone on the right that's being censored. See, that's the shit that pisses me off about this. This shit affects everyone, but all some of you care about is when it affects people on the right. Having said that, There needs to be a certain amount of moderation on a website, and you can disagree all you want, but I've had personal experience with running websites. I ran a PHP BB a, a discussion forum for seven years. I've also been going to, to discussion forums since the late 80s on BBSs. Okay, I know what, what goes on on discussion forums. I know what happens when there's no moderation. And, and I'm not even talking about the spam and the uh, uh, the bots. Man, spam and bots? YouTube, d Google does a damn good job at getting rid of the spam and bots. Maybe some of you don't think so, but no, they do a damn good job at getting rid of that. If you don't have a way of getting rid of the spam and bots, your, your website will be overrun with it. You'll have... It'll be at least a hundred to one ratio, a hundred posts of spam and links to malware, adware, spyware, to one post of something that's actually legitimate, right? That's how bad the stuff gets. YouTube does a good job at getting rid of that, right? But besides that, you know, when it comes to moderation, okay, an unmoderated forum turn it, that people say, oh, it's a free for all. Yeah. And then the only people that are left on free-for-all forums are people who are unreasonable. That's how it goes. And I've made this statement before. I've said this before. When, when you get rid of moderation, the only people left are the ones that are unreasonable. The ones who just want to insult. The ones who just want to be nasty for the sake of being nasty. And do you know what that turns into? That turns into an echo chamber. That is its own echo chamber. I'm sorry to, to those that this may piss off, but BitChute is a giant echo chamber for the most part. There are very few people like me who are on the left who post there. Most of the comment sections are an echo chamber. Sorry to say, I, I know this video will be, will be posted to BitChute too, and some of you will be pissed off, but just look at the damn comment section. And so the people 
who have the bullying kind of mindset, the people that are just trying to be nasty, the people that, yeah, they're all going to go to the site where they're uninhibited. There's, there's no worries of anything being done about anything they say. When it's a no-holds-barred kind of thing, it certain people gravitate towards it. That's just how it goes. The same sort of thing can happen when something is over-moderated, or it's moderated only in one direction. The only people that will be left at the, in those places will be people of who, whoever it's moderated in favor of, those are going to be the people that are left there. And that's an echo chamber. And that's no good either. But to those of you trying to claim it's so much worse than it's ever been, uh, no. No, I mean, I guess you weren't, you must not have been on YouTube before 2013. You just, you just must not have been there. You must have, or you just forgot. You conveniently forgot. Now, again, I'm not saying this is a good thing for them to become draconian about this stuff. But stop pretending that everything is worse than it's ever been. Yes, there are some people on the left that are calling for, for full-on censorship of, of almost everything. Okay, and that sucks. But just because those people are calling for it doesn't mean that suddenly YouTube is going to, to implement that. I think it's strange how many people are trying to blame all of this on Vox, trying to blame this all on Carlos Maza, and it's just like, no, YouTube has done this stuff for a long fucking time. Again, remember YouTube before, you know, 2013 and early. Remember what it was like. Okay, 2014 and 2015 were the years where YouTube was the most no-holds-barred, where the least amount of things got censored. Now, you can try to look back to that, oh, those were the good old days. Well, you know, we're probably not going to have that anymore. And I'm not going to say that this is a good thing. You know, but it is what it is. It's not a conspiracy against the right wing. So stop pushing that narrative because it's ridiculous. Now, there are some people that are kind of toxic on the left that I think that if they're to enforce their policies that they probably should uh, probably do something about. You know, how about Gazi, Gazi Kodzo or whatever the hell his name is? You know, how about people like that? Yeah, probably. They, they should probably do something about that. They probably won't. But there are plenty of others on the left that they've censored. Let me just make that perfectly clear. And no, I'm not saying it's a good thing. So, hopefully I've made myself more clear here. 